This is the VOA Special English Development Report. The World Health Organization estimates that about one-third of all people are infected with bacteria that cause tuberculosis. Most times, the infection remains inactive, but each year, about eight million people develop active cases of TB, usually in their lungs. Two million people die from it. The disease has increased with the spread of AIDS and drug-resistant forms of tuberculosis. Current treatments take at least six months. People have to take a combination of several antibiotic drugs daily. But many people stop as soon as they feel better. Doing that can lead to an infection that resists treatment. Public health experts agree that a faster-acting cure for tuberculosis would be more effective. Now a study estimates just how effective it might be. A professor of international health at Harvard University led the study. Joshua Salomon says a shorter treatment program would likely mean not just more patients cured, it would also mean fewer infectious patients who can pass on their infection to others. The researchers developed a mathematical model to examine the effects of a two-month treatment plan. They tested the model with current TB conditions in Southeast Asia. The scientists found that a two-month treatment could prevent about 20% of new cases, and it might prevent about 25% of TB deaths. The model shows that these reductions would take place between 2012 and 2030, that is, if a faster cure is developed and in wide use by 2012. The World Health Organization developed the DOTS program in 1990. DOTS is Directly Observed Treatment Short Course. Health workers watch tuberculosis patients take their daily pills to make sure the patients continue treatment. Earlier this year, an international partnership of organizations announced a plan to expand the DOTS program. The 10-year plan also aims to finance research into new TB drugs. The four most common drugs used now are more than 40 years old. The Global Alliance for TB Drug Development says its long-term goal is a treatment that could work in as few as 10 doses. And that's the VOA Special English Development Report, written by Jill Moss. The new study appears in the Public Library of Science Medicine. This is an online research publication that can be read for free at pls.org.